Hi, this is Mike, Academic Technologist at the College of William & Mary, and today I'm going to show you a couple of features of the Groups function in Blackboard 8. Um, I'm in a um, business course right here. I've uh, logged into the, my Blackboard site, and if you'll notice, I've got a Groups uh, tab right here on the left-hand side, and I actually created that in the Control Panel. Um, it doesn't automatically come in your Blackboard site, but if you click on that Groups link it will take you to all the groups that uh, that course contains so let me just select a group here and I'll show you a couple, uh, a couple of the things that you can do with groups um, I'll choose group 1.1 and I'll just click on that group and you should know what member what group you're a member of um, if you don't remember um, you'll see the names of all the group members uh, listed here under group members uh, well, I've got a few different things that I can do with groups. I can I use the group discussion board, um, collaboration, which is sort of like an online chat, um, file exchange, and I can send emails to the group. So let me show you the group discussion board first. I'll click on group discussion board. And I've got the possibility to add a forum, um, or I can go into a forum and respond to um, something in a forum that already exists. So I'm going to go ahead and create a forum. I'll click on that plus forum button and I'll say new sample. I can give it a description if I like. Um, I can make it available or not. And there are some settings that students may or may not have. Uh, this is sort of an instructor setting. And I'll just hit submit. And that's basically it. I've created that forum and now I can go into it and I can start adding threads to that forum. So I'll click on thread and I'll say new message. And I can add some text in this message box and if I wanted to attach a file I could attach a file right here and if I click on attach file um, it will allow me to choose a local file and I can submit that file for the rest of the people in that group to see. Um, I'm going to skip that part for right now. And that's basically it. I just go ahead and hit submit. Let's find the submit button here. Down here. And that's it. I've created that new message. Now I can reply to that message as a member of the group. Just click on that message. I can read the message and then I can reply to it um, or I can um, add a new thread if I want, whatever I want to do. So that is using the discussion board.